Okay, guys, so welcome back to integration, but this time we're adding a couple of new flavors to the whole thing, you know. We looked at antiderivatives, we looked at areas, volumes, but simple integration. And now we'll look at some of those special functions, e to the x, then we have our trig functions, and also Linux. But what I'm going to do is use the chain rule in reverse, so to speak. And we're going to be looking at some pretty cool functions. So hold on to your boots. Let's get dancing. Wow, ain't this so pretty? E to the ax plus b. You know, we can integrate e to the x. Earlier on, we said e to the x is e to the x. Did we actually say that? We know that ddx of e to the x is e to the x. So the integral of e to the x is e to the x. But what about e to the ax plus b or cos of ax plus b huh? is that simple enough for us to integrate let's have a look and take a closer closer peek at these beautiful beautiful functions and their corresponding integrals so let us take the natural exponential function um, f of x is equal to e to the x we learned while we're studying for paper one that, well, actually in this paper, that f prime of x is e to the x. So if you're looking at the integral of e to the x with respect to x, looking for a function whose derivative e to the x, and that's e to the x plus a constant. That's very important. Okay, so the integral of e to the x dx is e to the x plus a constant straightforward okay now the complication arises when we get something of this form what is the integral of e to the 3x dx now think about it when i int when i differentiate e to the 3x it is 3 e to the 3x but when you integrate e to the 3x it turns out that is e to the 3x over 3 plus a constant hmm so when you're differentiating, it's 3e e to the 3x, and we're integrating, it's 1 third. So where does a 1 third come from? And that is the crux of today's lesson. So let's take a closer look. So we were talking about e to the 3x dx. Now, if you want to make any headway with this, this, this beautiful blue, we do a little substitution let u equal to 3x, then du dx is what? 3. And we can write du as a differential as 3 dx. Okay. Alternatively, dx is du over 3. So let's transform this integral into a function of u. So 3x is u dx is du over three that's one third we can take the one third out it's a constant so we end up with e to the u du but the integral of e to the u is just e to the u plus you gotta add that constant the neg never gave us u we introduced u so the final answer as we expected was a third e to the 3x plus a constant. Happy face. Yay. Simple as that. All right. Pretty cool, man. I want to challenge you. Let's think out of the box here. So thinking out of the box, what is the integral of e to the kx dx, where k is a constant? What do you think that is? Think, think, think. Play that in your mind. Let u equal to kx du dx is just k. So transform the integral. And for sure, as God made little apples, it should be e to the kx over k plus a constant. You see what's happening here? It's very, very simple to spot, what's, to spot the symmetry as we do more and more examples. Amazing. So to remind you, I'm sitting abs in absolute darkness. The only lights that's present is the light emanating from the laptop uh, because we plunged into darkness due to load shedding. Um, the absence of light, well, is of course darkness, but 
it's special. It's special. You know, doing this lecture right now is like sitting down to a really cool dinner uh, <laughs> in the presence of the light coming off your laptop. Sweet stuff, man. Just throw in a couple of more examples with e to the x. So what's the integral of e to the minus x dx? Pretty straightforward. And the minus sign, don't just say minus, that means nothing, it's minus 1 plus a constant, which is minus e to the minus x plus a constant. Integral of e to a thousand x dx. When you're integrating, divide plus a constant. Okay, anything else uh, in general? Instead of just putting an e to the ax dx, where a is a constant, is e to the ax over a plus a constant. While writing, I just spotted an error. I made that deliberate check whether you're awake. There's a thousand missing there. So that's e to a thousand x plus a constant. Let me write that neatly. e to 1000 x over 1000 plus a constant. This one, let's write it neatly. e to the ax over a plus a constant. Cool stuff, man. Pretty straightforward. Okay, so we spoke about e to the x. What about Linux? Now, this is very special. You know, when you are studying for your paper three, you would learn about integration by parts, but have a look at my uh, YouTube channel. There is uh, a lesson on integration by parts, so it's WTW Science, and look at integration by parts, and where I derive the integral for lin x, but in this case, we don't really have to derive it. It's We need to remember it, x lin x minus x, plus a constant like this. So the integral of lin x is x lin x minus x. Strictly speaking, this should be an absolute value, isn't it? Because you can't take lin of a negative number and x has to be positive. So the integral of lin x is x lin x minus x plus a constant. Now, the thing about these things is they would ask you like, what is the integral of lin of 2x dx? So now this is uh, well, you have to think about this carefully. So make a substitution. Let u equal to 2x so that du is 2 dx. Differentials, you can write that. So convert everything to and dx is du over 2. So this becomes a half ln of u, integral of that du and from that first line over here watch the bracket becomes lin of u that's a u by the way uh, u lin u u lin u minus u you can even put a constant in there if you want so that becomes a half and instead of saying u we have to put 2x lin of 2x actually the absolute value of that minus 2x plus a constant, and that's your simple integration of lin 2x. Now, don't rush through it. Do this slowly. Rushing through, you're going to make lots of mistakes, so be very careful. Functions. Look at the first one. We know that ddx of sine x is cos x, so what is the integral of sine x? Integral of sine x, you'll be very careful. I'm looking for a function whose derivative is sine x. It's not cos x. It's minus cos x plus a constant. Differentiate the right hand side. What do you get? What is ddx of minus sine x, uh, cos x? You get sine x. Cool. What's the integral of cos x? The integral of cos x. I'm looking for a function whose derivative is cos x. That function is sine x. But don't forget, there's a constant there. And then you have 3, which is very important the integral of sex squared x dx. I'm looking for a function whose derivative is sex squared, that is tan. And that's all we need to know. So these are called the base integrals, fundamentals. You need to learn this better than your own name. So you don't get questions like this in the exams. So you get combinations of these things. Or for instance, I would ask you, what is the integral of sine 2x or cos 2x? 
So let's see what that comes down to. What is the integral of, say, cos 2x dx? So here again, quick substitution. So if I let u equals to 2x, then du is equal to 2 dx. And so this becomes the integral of cos u. I'm replacing that. And dx is this guy. I'm replacing it with du over 2. You can take the half out because it's a common cos u du. Looking for a function whose derivative is cos u. That function is sine u plus a constant. They did not give us u. We put in u. So u is 2x. And voila. That's my answer. Give us a smile. Give us a smile. Hey, cool stuff, man. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> An interesting one. What is the integral of sine of 2x minus 3 dx? Oh my goodness. What is this? Well, if I look very carefully here, I'm going to let inside function u be 2x minus 3 then du is just 2 dx what does this become integral of sine the whole thing is u and dx is du over 2 take the half out as a common factor so you get sine u du is that clear what's the integral of sine u looking for a function whose derivative is sine u it's minus cos u plus a constant. So the answer is minus a half. They didn't give us u. They give us 2x minus 3 plus a constant. <laughs> this one, I think I'm going to give you a star for getting it right. Awesome stuff, man. Cool. So quick little substitution and out pops the answer quite nicely and immediately. It's linear, you know, in x, 2x minus 3. So not extremely difficult. The more elaborate substitutions would come, obviously, in paper three. A lot of fun there, awaiting you. Now, here's something that's in your syllabus. How do we integrate sine squared x dx? And now I've seen students do so many crazy things here. You know, like they say, it's sine cubed x over three or cos cubed x. No way. What you have to do is get rid of that square. That's the problem. We have to linearize. That's a beautiful word for you to learn. Linearize. So I want to make use of two things. One, trig identities. Cos 2x, you would recall, is cos squared x minus sine squared x. So what I want to do now is to try and write, replace the sine squared by cos. But remember, cos squared x is nothing more than 1 minus sine squared x, another sine squared. So I've got 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And I can replace sine squared x, if you think about that very carefully. Do this slowly, by the way. That's equal to 1 minus cos 2x over 2. Please check my algebra. So I took the minus 2 right on that side, took the cos there and divided by 2 and I get that. So this integral beautifully comes down to 1 minus cos 2x all over 2 times dx. Now we also know that this can be written as, now students don't like that, take the half out, 1 minus cos 2x dx. Watch my use of brackets, love brackets, 1 dx minus integral of cos 2x dx. Distribute the integral sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a bracket there. So still keeping the half bracket. What's the integral of 1 dx? Look at a function whose derivative is 1. Of course, the function is x. Now, minus, I'm going to do this in one swoop. Cos 2x, if I let u equal to 2x, then I need to integrate that. So integral of cos is sine of something. But in this case, we've got to divide by 2, and then we can add a constant to it. Uh, give me a happy face here. This is brilliant. Lots of things happening here. Firstly, 
original question was sine squared x. I linearized to get it to cos to the power 1, put it in there, then integrate it, and also using uh, substitution to get a half there. So one has to be get very careful. This is difficult. Don't rush through it. So of course, uh, while we have time now, let's integrate cos squared x. Let's see. Using the same method, let's see whether we can pull that out. Okay, so my big question to you is what is the integral of cos squared x dx? Don't like the 2 there. I need to bring it to 1. So we linearize. The word is linearize. Let me write that word again. Very powerful, that. So we go back and we say, okay, we would remember from school that cos of 2x, just like in the other problem, is cos squared x minus sine squared x. So write everything in terms of cos squared x. Watch the brackets here. What is sine squared? Remember, is 1 minus cos squared x. If I do that, minus and minus becomes a plus, so that becomes 2 cos squared x minus 1. So if I solve for cos squared x, the minus 1 on the other side becomes plus 1, and you divide by 2. So we see the power now of even this cos is just 1. So this becomes the integral of cos 2x plus 1 all over 2 times dx. Take the half out as a common factor. So you get cos 2x plus 1 dx. Distribute that with the beautiful bracket is cos 2x dx plus the integral of 1 dx. And that becomes a half. What's the integral of cos 2x? It is, of course, sine 2x, but not just sine 2x, over 2. And what's the integral of 1 dx? It's x. And you can just throw in a constant there. I want a star for this. That's my answer. Beautiful. Simple. But it's as tough as it gets, right, for this paper. So please revise your trig identities. Look at the transformations. Look at the simple substitutions I'm making. Learn your base integrals. Integral of e to the x is e to the x plus a constant. Integral of cos x. What's the integral of cos x? It's sine x plus a constant. What's the integral of sine x? Ha ha. It's minus cos x plus a constant. What is the integral of lin x? It's x lin x minus x plus a constant. That one's slightly more complicated. Get to the WTW Science YouTube channel. See what's happening over there. Yeah, so what's the integral of sex squared? It's tan x plus a constant. Awesome, guys. Review, review, review. Commit to memory and you will be successful and will start enjoying this section. So uh, we're looking forward to lots more tutorial problems, past exam papers, discussions. Please, the forum discussions out there, it's open to you guys to speak out, to share your knowledge. And I think the best way of learning is by teaching. So see you on the other side of 10, whatever that means.